In the late 70s, Electro Harmonics developed and released a line of analog drum synthesizers. Over time, two particular drum synths from this era, the Crash Pad and Super Space Drum, have come to be favorites amongst modern musicians and vintage pedal collectors. The Crash Pad creates drum sounds that are normally rich in harmonics, such as cymbals, snares, and hi-hats, by routing a noise source into a resonant filter, which can achieve self-oscillation. The Super Space Drum excels at kick and tom drums, by sweeping its internal oscillator between the start and stop frequencies set by their respective knobs. A secondary oscillator can further modulate the super space drum, creating otherworldly oscillation sweeps. In our first segment, we've connected four piezo drum triggers to crash pads and super space drums, creating a playable electronic drum kit. Crash pads and super space drums are connected to an EHX clockworks that triggers the drum synths and creates a rhythm set by each channel's clock divide setting on the clockworks. Now we have an 8-step sequencer connected to a crash pad. We'll create a pattern with the 8-step sliders, then switch on a Deluxe Memory Boy delay. Expanding on the previous setup, we use a clockworks to synchronize two 8-steps. One 8-step creates a pattern for the crash pad, while the other plays the super space drum. The drum synths can be triggered by a DAW. Most short percussive sounds work fine to trigger the drum synths. Here we have Logic sending out rimshot sounds from our Focusrite USB interface. 
We'll start with the drum beat in Logic, and then add the Super Space Drum and Crash Pad. By connecting the output of the crash pad and super space drum to other effects pedals, you can expand the sound of each synth. The audio output of the crash pad is connected to the audio input of a cockfight. The 8 step is modulating the cockfight's talking filter, creating a pattern out of the crash pad's white noise decay. Here we have the Super Space Drum going into the Nanopog, Crayon Overdrive, and Holy Grail Max to create a massively huge drum sound. Another Super Space Drum is connected to a Super Ego set to Auto Mode, so the Super Ego automatically freezes each new Super Space Drum hit. There's a Nanopog and Badstone in the Super Ego's effects loop, which add octaves and modulated harmonics, making each freeze ethereal sounding. Beery. 